3 Reality and 3 Pro came out about 8 years ago, but in 2025 is it still worth buying? With so many new 3D printers on the market, why would you pick this budget friendly class? Well, in today's video I'm going to give you 5 reasons why the N3 Pro is still one of the best and level 3D printers you can get. Whether you're just getting started or a reliable workhorse, this printer might surprise you. Let's dive right in. <laughs> Reason number one is the incredible value for the price. One of the biggest reasons um, people still buy the Android 3 Pro in 2025 is the price. You can often find it for around or under $200, making it one of the most affordable 3D printers that actually delivers high quality print. Even though new models have came out since the Android 3 Pro, it still holds its ground. Thanks to its solid print quality, large community support and easy modding options, if you're looking for a budget friendly 3D printer, without sacrificing performance, this is still one of the high-end top picks. Reason 2 is the Ender 3 Pro's open source and fully customizable quality. If you're tweaking, upgrading or making your 3D printer truly your own, the Ender 3 Pro is a perfect for modding. Unlike some newer models that are locked, this printer is completely open source, which means you can upgrade it almost everything. Hot end, extruder, motherboard, auto bed leveling and even add a direct drive system. Want a silent motherboard? No problem. Need a bigger build plate? Easily done. The customization potential is endless on the Ender 3 Pro and that's what is what makes it one of the best budget friendly printers in 2025. Reason number 3 is the Ender 3's reliable print quality for beginners and experts. For such an affordable printer, the print quality of the Ender 3 Pro is shockingly good, especially once you have fine-tuned your settings. With its sturdy aluminum frame and upgraded magnetic bed, you can get clean, detailed prints with minimal effort. Sure, it's not plug-and-play as some high-end printers, this you actually need to build yourself and you need to level it once, once in a while to get perfect prints, but if you take a little time to calibrate it right you can get professional level results for a fraction of the price of other printers and with that and with the right upgrades you can even print with high temp and flexible filaments reason number four is it's a huge community and tons of support one of the best things about owning an android 3 pro is the massive online community if you ever have a problem and need upgrades or just want to learn how to get better prints there are thousands of tutorials forums and youtube videos to help you out credit printers have some of the best community support out there meaning you're never alone if you run into issues plus with the amount of firmware updates printable mods and troubleshooting guides available you can fix almost anything without needing to buy a new printer i have me even made some tutorials on my channel if you want to check them out they are linked in the description finally we have number five which is that it can print almost anything the endo 3 pro isn't just a cheap printer it's a versatile machine that can handle a huge variety of filaments pla petg tpu abs you name it this thing can print it with a few upgrades you can even print with carbon fiber infused filaments wood pla or high temp materials whether you're printing prototypes, cosplay props, miniatures or functional parts, the Ender 3 Pro can do pretty much everything. You just need to upgrade it so it can actually do all of those things. So is the Creality Ender 3 Pro still worth buying in 2025? Absolutely. If you want an affordable, customizable and reliable 3D printer that has stood the test of time, this is still one of the best choices out there. What do you think? Do you own an Ender 3 Pro? or are you considering buying one? Drop a comment down below. And if you like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future tech content. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.